Um, so, um, what has been your hardest fight um, so far in your career? My hardest fight, mate. I've had, um, obviously, I've boxed Sokolowski on the third fight. That was an hard fight. That was a good test. Um, or on the ultimate boxer, when I boxed, um, I had three fights in one night. So that was an hard night at the office. But, three uh, fights in one night? Office. Yeah, three fights in one night, mate. Yeah, I boxed Jay McFarland in the first round, um, Josh Sandland in the second round, and then I uh, boxed Mick Webb in the final. Three, three, three round, three, three minute rounds. Um, each fight was, and we, and each one went the distance. Was that the one you lost to Nick Webb? Yeah, that was the one I lost to Nick Webb, mate. Yeah, obviously it was a winner stays on kind of scenario. Oh. And you were. Uh, so you you win the first round, you get through. You win the second, you get through to the final. And then me and Nick met in the final. I beat Sandland in the second round, and he beat um, Danny Whitaker. And, we, and me and Nick met in the final. They're both fighting um, today, aren't they? Yeah, they are, mate. Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a crack with them both. Yeah. So Nick's fighting on the same card. He's fighting Fabio Wardley. Yeah. Danny Whitaker's fighting John, Johnny Fisher. I, I think they'll both. I think uh, that Fabio Wardley v Nick Webb's going to be a a good fight. Yeah, it is, mate. You're correct. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good fight. I, I think Nick, I, I think Nick Webb's going to win. To be fair, I'd like to see it, mate. I would like to see it because I've Nick's a top guy. He's a lovely kid, um, and I do, and I, and I do think that he, he has been overlooked, and I do think that um, he's he's got a lot to offer. Fabio's um, not. A, a, Fabio's not a bad fighter, though. No, he's good, mate. Fabio is good, yeah. He's, had, he's, he's obviously proved his worth, hasn't he? He has. Um, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not, no, I've got nothing against Fabio. He's a nice kid too, but I, I just, I've got stronger ties with Nick, and I do believe that he is going. I, I, I'd say Nick will win. Yeah. Um. Of course, you're also fighting against um Alan Babic. Uh, tonight. Yeah, go on, mate. What uh what time um just roughly what time do you reckon you'll be fighting? I've been told the ring walk's eight o'clock tonight, mate. So twenty hundred hours. Okay. Um, how have you been? Um, if you don't mind me asking, how have you been preparing for Babic? Um, obviously I've just been uh, doing the usual, mate. I'm running in the morning or taking the going on a bike ride in the morning. And then going to the gym at night, um, doing my bits. Obviously, I had some tough sparring with uh, Camille. I had Camille Sokolowski come up, done some good rounds with Camille. Um, and just, just taking it, mate. Just listening to my coaches and going with what they're saying and how we should tackle this fight now and how we should go about it. Yeah. Um. What do you like doing in your spare time? In my spare time, I've got four. I've got four kids, mate. So I don't really get a spare time. I have oh. uh, obviously around the box. You know, I've got my four kids and my wife and my family, and then I've got um, I run my own business as well. So, but when I do, I, I don't build around the golf, all right, or going out crack with lads at local pub and just. Obviously, we've not had much of that, have we, mate? Because uh, we've all been locked down, haven't we, for the last eighteen months? Yeah. Have you been, um, how long do you train for, like, how many hours a day? Um, I mean, it, it all depends. It depends on what we're doing. If I'm going for a sparring, we'll just go in, we'll do the rounds and then I'll go out. Um, but if I'm going to a gym session, I'll get there, we'll have a warm-up, and then we'll probably do 12 to 20 rounds in between, um, and just, just basically do pads or bag, bag work, treadmill sprints, just so you're looking about an hour to to, uh, to an hour and a half, around about there. An hour and a half, yeah. Um. Yeah. Do you have respect for Babic? I do, mate. I mean, I've got respect for every fighter, that, every lad. Of, you know, I'm, a, I'm a humble guy, you know, and uh, I do have respect for everyone who, who steps in the ring. I mean, obviously, Babic is the uh, unspoken. I think it's all a show, mate, I do, I'll be honest. But um, I, yeah, he has said things that um, can't be come back and I'm hopefully going to make him punished tonight.
I saw you two in the way in yesterday, uh, slapping each other. What was that all about? <laughs> yeah, we, well, you were all that stupid bastard he makes up. Like, basically, <laughs> he's trying to get under my skin. He's trying to play mind games. Uh, so he's, he's come at me and he started talking rubbish while I was um, while I was on the while I was on face on. So I thought I'd pull his mask. So then he slapped me. <laughs> So I'll just give him, a, I'll give him a quick one back, mate. Mm -hmm. Knocked taste out of his mouth. He didn't like it. Yeah, and he got really uh, angry. So, yeah. yeah, he did, though. Uh, he did, mate. It was funny, though, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what age did you start boxing? I started boxing, mate, at 27. I didn't start till I was quite, I was quite a late starter. I played rugby. I joined the army at 16 and I played rugby all the way through my army career. Uh, and I carried on playing until I decided to turn off and uh, box, man. Cool. Uh, it came up really. Me and the lads said, yeah, me and the lads said, oh, I should try one of these charity bouts, all the white like collar boxes. Uh, we tried it and I did all right and I thought, oh, I could take used to this. It was decent. And there, here I am now, sat here, mate. It, it, on fight week, what's your diet like? I've got a nutritionist, mate, so I'll leave that down to him, but I uh, tend to eat, like, so I'll have oats and a banana and a protein shake in the morning. Um, then I'll have chicken and salad at about 10 o'clock. Then I'll have steak and uh, salad and a jacket tight here about 2. Then at tea. I'll have um, some low-fat burgers in a uh, brioche bun, mate. And then, before I go to bed, I'll have some Greek yoghurt and some bits and bobs and a protein shake. Nice. And, yeah, I try to strip down, mate. I mean, obviously, I ballooned quite a lot through uh, lockdown. Um, I've been trying to get the weight down. Um, I'm, I'm still heavier than I normally am. I normally box about 18 and a half stone, but I'm hoping this uh, extra weight that I'm carrying will uh, play an mm -hmm. advantage for myself, obviously. Alan's 15 stone, so I've got four and a half stone as well, isn't it? Yeah. Are you confident for tonight? Yeah, I'm confident, buddy, yeah. Uh, slap taste out of his mouth again. I reckon just uh, try to use your jab and try to block. He he hits very hard. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, we'll find out tonight, mate. I think I've been hit harder by... By Nick Webb and Sokolowski, like, I don't think he's got as heavy hands as them two. And they were just bouncing off me all night long. Um, but we'll find out tonight. All, I, all the work's done now, mate. All I can do is get in there and, and see what we're about. Yeah. Um, what's your favourite strike in a fight? Favourite strike? I like my big right hook, mate. I'm my big overhand right. Yeah. When, I, when it lands, and you know it lands. Like it. When I box on the sand, we're putting down. But my, uh, my right hand is my, uh, my, my favourite. Yeah, that was a good shot. Are you an orthodox? I am orthodox, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, right handed. What age did you start boxing? Oh no, I already answered that, sorry. Um, 27, and then I turned professional when I was 30. Oh, so did you have lots of amateur fights? Did you have lots of amateur fights? No, I didn't have any amateur fights, mate. I went straight to the unlicensed. I was on the unlicensed team for a couple of three years. Any advice for people who were trying to get into boxing? Yeah, mate, I'd, uh, I'd find a good amateur team. I'd definitely go for the amateur route if someone uh, was wanting to turn over to, to, to box professionally. I'd, uh, I think you can, in fact, you get your fundamentals a lot better. Um, so I'd definitely start off at amateurs and just progress. Just take it and just, just enjoy it. Make sure you enjoy it rather than as opposed to doing it out of just something to do. Just make sure you enjoy everything you do. Yeah. Uh, who was your 
idol um, when you were a kid? As a kid, my idol was, I was going to set it on my mum. My mother was my idol. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you for coming on and good luck for tonight, mate. No problem. Thank you, buddy. All the best and I, I wish you all the luck with it. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. Good evening. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.